Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to see if we can quickly pop some stumps out. Now, I've got dozens of videos on stump removal. I've done it with a mini excavator, I've done it with my backhoe, I use a stump grinder, I just pushed one out with a skid steer, and today we're going to do it a different way. Actually, I forgot to mention the stump bucket. I've been on this property maybe two months ago and I dug out a bunch of stumps with the stump bucket. And there are another hundred stumps here that I've just been working on for a friend and kind of gives me a little playground to test out different equipment. So I think I took out about four stumps right down the hill here with the stump bucket. We're going to try digging out similar size stumps with the ripper tooth on the backhoe. And part of the draw to the ripper is it cuts through the roots rather than pulling them out and it should make a cleaner hole and less cleanup because with that stump bucket or with the backhoe or a lot of different ways you do it you end up tearing up a huge area so before we use this ripper tooth I'll just show you what it is basically a huge hardened steel saw blade that lets you concentrate all the force of your backhoe into a very small space. We've got these little flags all over the place marking stumps. Now from here, probably seems really small, but that tree goes from here to about here. We're probably talking five inch diameter tree. And actually, looks like it went a little further and is broke off. So at some point, we'll test this on a bigger stump. But for today, I'm gonna establish a baseline first by trying to push on that with the bucket nothing's going to happen. Then what I'm expecting to happen is I will make a circle ripping around this and then I'll push again and it'll pop free. I would say we got quite an interesting result here. I busted a chunk off of the top portion of this root, but didn't even begin to disturb the stump. It's exactly where it was. I just peeled a little bit off of that root with the bucket. And we've exposed this root right here to be quite large. So I'm interested to see how easily we're able to cut through that. There's a size reference for the root. It's about the width of my four fingers.
so I would say that was pretty quick and easy to pull that stump out. A lot of big roots here. You know, these are not like dead and rotten roots. Those are still solid. You could hear them all ripping and breaking. I think I made a little bit less of a mess than any other way I've done this with my compact tractor. That ripper was exactly what I hoped it would be. It was quick, it was easy, worked perfectly on small stumps. You know, I would have shown this to you on a bigger stump, but I've already taken out all the big stumps that I had around, so I'll have to wait until I have another opportunity to rip up a bigger stump, and we'll try it again. But I appreciate you taking time to watch. Check out Be Expanded. I'm gonna put links over here to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.